PCH TV. I'm Emma. And I'm Jordan. We have another exciting show for you today. All right, let's get started with Late Start. Students enjoyed an extra two hours before school for free time. Instead of early release, the Parkway School District opted for Late Start. PCH took a closer look at how students spent the morning of Late Start. On September 5th, students at Central and throughout the district pushed their alarm clocks back for the first ever Late Start. The hallways were empty as teachers attended meetings and students had two hours of freedom before the school day officially began. Some students found the additional two hours the perfect time for a quality breakfast and told us exactly what foods they enjoyed and where they went to enjoy them. Well, the morning of late start, I went to IHOP and I had pancakes and it was really good. This morning, I ate chocolate frosted flakes. This morning, I went to 7-Eleven with my friends from Whitfield because they also had a late start, so I got to see them, even though they live far away. And even had time for me to actually make my fried rice, so I am one happy Asian. Some students took advantage of this extra time to catch up in academic studies. From homework to meetings, these students got work done. I actually had to finish some boss homework for tech theater. I did not have a late start. I went to cosmetology at South Tech. I had to be practice from 8 to 9.15. And then there was the unexpected. And this morning, my brother and me was waiting for the bus. And I was just, we got bored, so we started playing tag, and we did the kid and play in front of everybody. It was real fun. I'm on late start. I went with my sister to get her braces off. Really early, just went to my bus stop and just had fun with my homeboy. So that's what I did this morning instead of sleeping in like lazy people. Throughout a normal day of school, some students have the tendency to doze off during class. However, the morning of late start, most students caught up on some much needed sleep and were refreshed for their afternoon classes. I slept in. I slept in. The next late start is October 3rd. Be thinking about how you want to spend your extra time before school. Well, those were some very interesting activities. So Jordan, how did you spend your late start? Well, I went, woke up early, went out for a run, went to the gym, drank my protein shakes, and even managed to spend some time studying for my classes. So I take it you enjoyed your extra two hours to sleep in? Uh, yeah. Alright, moving on. From pep rallies to the homecoming football game, PCH TV took a closer look at highlighting Central's school spirit. To get excited for homecoming, we had not only one, but two pep rallies on Friday. We got to play games, have competitions, watch some teachers dance, and we even ended up on the news. Many Parkway Central High School students were up bright and early to represent our school on Fox 2's Little Caesars Pep Zone. The varsity football team was featured on the segment, along with the cheerleaders, band, dance team, and other enthusiastic students. Justin Bradshaw, Sam Hoffman, Sam Feldman, and Nick Lambert even participated in a donut eating contest. Justin was the defending champion, confident he was going to win again this year. However, some people thought otherwise. And we have another Sam right here. Sam, you ready to go? Yes, I think Justin's got some competition. <laughs> Let the contest begin. They sure were hungry, and the winner is Sam Feldman. That wasn't the end of our exciting day. After our classes were over, we got to participate in another pep rally, but this time it was inside the gym. All varsity sports teams were able to show off their chant and spirit to the rest of us. Students and teachers also participated in games where they had to spell words using their whole bodies and pull each other across the gym on beach towers. The teachers also surprised the school with a dance to the popular summer song, Call Me Maybe. As our second pep rally came to a close, it was time to get ready for the varsity football game again segment. Here are some of our game's highlights.
Central defeated, defeated Sackman 49-7. Great job, Colts. Back to you. I saw you participated in the early morning pep rally. Why not the donut eating contest? I didn't think it'd be fair for the other competitors. I mean, do you really think I would have lost? Well, I don't know about that, but one thing is certain. Central defeated Sackman 49-7, even with the 90-minute brain delay. With the game one, the students had plenty of time to prepare for the next big event, the homecoming dance. We asked students how they prepared the day of. To get ready for homecoming, we often get ready in a big group, and we get our hair and makeup done, and then we have to pick our outfits and make sure our jewelry is all ready. In the morning, I like to exercise, and then I take a shower, and I like to get my hair done and my makeup done because it makes me feel really special. And then I put my jewelry on and my dress on, and I'm ready to go to the dance. Um, on homecoming day, I usually wake up um, around nine-ish probably, try to sleep in, have a good night's sleep. Uh, I go and get my stuff together, pretty much know what I'm going to wear for the night or whatever. And then I probably go to my friend's house, hang out for a little bit, and then we all go together to like where we're going to take pictures or whatever. Um, well, I'm going to wake up, shower, um, get dressed in my homecoming stuff, um, hang out with some friends go to dinner at Spiro's, and then go to homecoming. Oh yeah, we can pick up my date also. I have football practice Saturday morning, and after that I'll probably go home and take a nap. And then when I wake up, I'll shower and get ready to go. So Jordan, did you spend hours prepping for the dance? You know, it was really hard playing golf all morning. I almost ran out of time when I couldn't tie my bow tie. Well, thank goodness you were able to. Crisis avoided. So speaking of daily attire, Let's go to Ben Krause to talk about Central Style. With the weather changing, the style changes with it. We found out what students and teachers are wearing. I like to dress preppy. Uh, I would say that my style is trendy professional. I like to uh, represent my favorite sports teams in schools. I don't really have a style. I like to dress different every day. My style is I like to be comfortable for school. I like to wear Hawaiian shirts, you know, because it's pretty cool. And I have over two weeks worth, so maybe like 14, 15 around. My personal motto is, it's not how well you do something, it's how good you look doing it. And I always look good. How fitting. Consider yourself swagged out? Oh, yeah. Well, that wraps up this episode of PCH TV. I'm Jordan. And I'm Emma. Look out for us, and you could be on the next episode of PCH TV.